to their case, the defense will call their first witness at this time. And you may proceed, please. All right. Yes, Your Honor. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, defense calls Dr. Margaret Gore. Dr. Gore, please. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the evidence you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Make yourself comfortable with the standards. All right, Dr. Gore, I'm going to bring you over a bottle of water. Make sure that you don't get thirsty, okay? Thank you. All right, there you go. Just let us know if you need any more. Thank you. Dr. Gore, would you please introduce yourself to the jury? Hi, I'm Dr. Margaret Gore. Dr. Gore, are you a medical doctor? Yes, I am. What kind of doctor are you? I'm a hematologist oncologist. Now, you're the first oncologist that this jury has heard from. What is an oncologist? An oncologist is a doctor that takes care of cancer patients. So, in other words, you're a cancer doctor? That's what I do. All right, Dr. Gore, before today, have you ever testified as an expert witness? No, I have not. So, Dr. Gore, is this your first time testifying in a trial like this? Yes, this is my testifying birthday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be sure to celebrate that next year then. Um, what is a hematologist? A hematologist is a blood doctor, uh, a clinical blood doctor that sees patients, not the blood doctor in the laboratory that does type and cross match. But I see patients with blood-related disorders, anything from anemia, low red blood cell count, to um, blood-related malignancies like leukemia. Now, Dr. Gore, as you know, this is a cancer case, so we're going to focus on um, you as a cancer doctor. Your Honor, I object to the bleeding. It's not a cancer. Sustain. All right. As a cancer doctor, Dr. Gore, are you here to testify today and talk to this jury about Mrs. Smith's lung cancer? Yes. Are you here to testify about when we have the first evidence in the medical records of Mrs. Smith having lung cancer? Yes. Are you here to testify today and talk to this jury about whether Mrs. Smith had symptoms of lung cancer prior to November 21st, 1996? Yes. And are you here to testify, Dr. Gore, about whether Mrs. Smith was cured of her cancer? Yes. Okay, Dr. Gore. Let's take a step back and have you uh, talk about your qualifications um, for a few minutes with this jury. How long have you been an oncologist? Since 1989. Are you currently practicing as an oncologist? Yes, I'm actively practicing. And so as an oncologist, what types of cancers do you see? I pretty much see anything that comes through the door, um, all types of cancer. So specifically relevant for this case, do you see patients with lung cancer? Yes, I do. In treating patients with lung cancer, have you actually diagnosed patients with lung cancer? Yes. And in your 35 years of practice, Dr. Gore, can you tell this jury how many patients you diagnosed with lung cancer? Thousands. And when you diagnose patients with lung cancer, do you also take a history of their symptoms that they've been experiencing? Yes, I do. Dr. Gore, did you bring a slide with you that summarizes your education and training? Yes, I did. All right, let's bring that up. So, Dr. Gore, um, can you talk a little bit about these first two bullets about your uh, college and medical school? I went to college at Harvard University. I graduated in biochemical sciences. Um, I then went on to Duke University School of Medicine and graduated in 1986 uh, with a degree in medicine. While you were in college and in medical school, did you uh, receive any honors? Yes, I did. I graduated summa cum laude from um, college. I graduated what's termed AOA Alpha Omega Alpha from medical school. That's the Medical School Honor Society. After you graduated from Duke Medical School, did you go on to receive any postgraduate training? Yes, I did my internship and residency at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. Um, after I finished my residency, I did a fellowship in hematology and oncology at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. Now, Dr. Gore, can you please explain to the jury what is a fellowship? Um, 
Most, when a doctor graduates from medical school, they're an MD, they're a doctor. They're actually not licensed to practice medicine until they've finished at least one year of training as an intern. Thereafter, most doctors will complete a full residency in some subspecialty, whether that's internal medicine, general surgery, 